Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to solve remaining question of IMO Olympiad Workbook Chapter 6, The Triangle and Its Properties for Class 7. Watch Part 1 video for first 10 questions. Please watch video and do like, share and subscribe my channel. Let's start with question number 11. In the figure, ACDF is a rectangle and BDE is a triangle. Find angle BED. So here given ACDF is rectangle. So this angle is of 90 degree. Now here this is 48. So this will be 90 minus 48 is equal to 42 degree. Now we take the triangle BED. Here one angle is 86. This one is 42. And we have to find out angle BED. So here sum of angle of triangle is 180. So 86 plus 42 plus angle BED is equal to 180. 86 plus 42 is 128 plus angle BED is equal to 180. So angle BED is equal to 180 minus 128 is equal to 52 degree. So here B is correct. Angle. Question number 12. In the figure ABCD is a rectangle triangle. And CEF is an equilateral triangle. Find X. So here ABCD is rectangle. So this angle is 90 degree. Now we take triangle ADC. So here this 90 plus 65 plus X is equal to 180 because sum of the angle of triangle is 180. Now 90 plus 65 is 155 plus x is equal to 180. So x is equal to 180 minus 155 is equal to 25 degree. So x is 25 degree. A is correct answer. Question number 13. If the angles of a triangle are in the ratio 2 is to 1 is to 3 then the triangle is now let the angle be 2x, 1x and 3x and their sum is 2x plus 1x plus 3x is equal to 180. So here 2x plus 1x plus 3x is 6x is equal to 180. x is equal to 180 by 6. Here 6 1s are 6, 6 3s are 18. So x is equal to 30. Now we put here x. So 2x is equal to 2 into 30 means 60 degree. Then x is 30 degree. And 3x is 3 into 30 is 90 degree. Now here one angle is 90 degree means that triangle is right angle triangle B is correct answer. Question number 14 if the heights of two poles are 40 meter and 60 meter and the distance between their tops is 25 meter then find the distance between the feet of the poles. Now we consider these two are poles one height is 40 meter and its height is 60 meter. And the distance between their tops is 25 meter. And we have to find out the distance between the feet. We consider it is as x. x is equal to this length. This 40 meter is equal to this length. This length is equal to 60 minus 40 means 20. We take this length as y. And we will find out y by using Pythagoras theorem. So 25 square is equal to y square plus 20 square. 25 square is 625 is equal to y square plus 20 square is 400. So y square is equal to 625 minus 400 is equal to 225. So y is equal to square root of 225 is equal to 15 meter. So y is equal to x. So distance between the feet of poles is 15 meter. D is correct answer. Question number 15. A tree is broken at a height of 5 meter from the ground 
and its top touches the ground at a distance of 12 meter from the base of the tree find the original height of the tree consider this is the tree and it broken at the height of 5 meter broken part touch the ground at 12 meter from the base of the tree means from this base and this distance is 12 meter means this distance is equal to this distance now we first find out this distance by using pythagoras theorem we consider it as x so x square is equal to 12 square plus 5 square 12 square is 144 plus 5 square is 25 144 plus 25 is 169 so x is equal to square root of 169 so it is equal to 13 and this height is equal to this height means this is 13 meter total height is equal to this 13 and this 5 means 18 meter so here c is correct answer question number 16 a 34 meter long ladder reached a window 16 meter from the ground on placing it against a wall find the distance of the foot of the ladder from the wall suppose window is here so distance from ground to window is 16 meter and ladder is placed here which is 34 meter long and here we have to find out the distance of the foot of a ladder from the wall so this we consider as x using pythagoras theorem 34 square is equal to x square plus 16 square so 34 square is 1156 is equal to x square plus 16 square is 256 so x square is equal to 1156 minus 256 is equal to 900 so x is equal to square root of 900 so x is equal to 30 so here the distance from the foot of the ladder from the wall is 30 meter b is correct answer question number 17 mrs kaushik gives a problem to her students find the perimeter of a rectangle whose length is 28 centimeter and diagonal is 35 centimeter what will be the correct answer length is 28 centimeter diagonal is 35 centimeter so we first find out the length of this side by using pythagoras theorem we take the length of this side as x so according to pythagoras theorem 35 square is equal to x square plus 28 square 35 square is 1 2 2 5 is equal to x square plus 28 square is 784 so x square is equal to 1225 minus 784 is equal to 441 so x is equal to square root of 441 so x is equal to 21 now here x is 21 now we will find out the perimeter perimeter is equal to 2 into length plus breadth so 2 into length is 28 plus breadth is 21 so 2 into 28 plus 21 is 49 2 into 49 is 98 centimeter so here d is correct perimeter question number 18 state t for true and f for false option 1 in a right angle triangle abc angle b is equal to 65 degree angle c is equal to 25 degree then ab square is equal to bc square plus ca square abc is right angle triangle then angle b is 65 c is 25 according to the pythagoras theorem bc square is equal to ab square plus ac square so this is incorrect so this statement is false option 2 the length of third side of a triangle cannot be smaller than the difference of the length of other two sides difference of 
two sides is always smaller than the third side. That means the third side is always greater than the difference of two sides. So this statement is true. Option three: A triangle can have only one median. A triangle have three median. So this option is false. So here B is correct answer. Question number nineteen. Study the following statements and select the correct option. Statement one: In an isosceles triangle, if one of the equal angle is fifty two, then the greatest angle is of measure seventy six degree. Suppose this is an isosceles triangle, and these two angles are fifty two degree. And one is seventy six degree. So seventy six plus fifty two plus fifty two is one eighty. So it is correct option. Statement two: If an exterior angle of triangle is a right angle, then each of its interior opposite angles are acute. Suppose the exterior angle of triangle is right angle, means this angle also right angle. So these two angles are acute angle. So this statement is also true. So here both statement one and statement two are true. C is correct answer. Question number twenty. Find the values of x and y respectively. Here we first take the angle TCE. Here x is the exterior angle and exterior angle is equal to sum of two opposite interior angles. Means here x is equal to thirty five degree plus thirty one degree. Which is equal to sixty six degree. Now we take angle SBD. Here S is exterior angle. We take it as Z, and angle Z is equal to sum of two internal opposite angles, means thirty degree plus thirty six degree is equal to sixty six degree. Now here X is sixty six. Z is sixty six. And now we have to find out this y. So y is equal to one eighty minus sixty six plus sixty six, because the sum of angles of triangle is one eighty degree. So one eighty minus sixty six plus sixty six is one thirty two. One eighty minus one thirty two is forty eight degree. So x is equal to sixty six degree and y is equal to Forty-eight degree. B is correct answer. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Do practice well and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.